I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you some interesting questions on domain and range. The question here is find domain and range of each of the following functions. First one is y equals 2 x square minus 2x minus 2 and the second one is y equals to 1 over 1 plus x square. Now you need to find domain range for these functions. You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. First one is a parabola. Domain has no restrictions. It's a continuous polynomial function, right? How do we find range? That is important. It's a parabola which opens upwards, correct? So if you graph this, you'll get a parabola which opens upward. The idea here is to get the vertex and the ranges, all values, which are greater than or equal to the y value of this vertex, right? x squared with positive coefficient. So how do we find vertex? A couple of ways. One, you can say the x value is minus b by 2a, or you can complete the squares, right? So we'll prefer to complete squares. So to find vertex, we'll complete squares. So that we get vertex form. Okay. So it is x squared minus, let's put this in brackets, 2x. Half of 2 is 1, so we'll add and subtract 1 square minus 2. So that gives us x minus 1 whole square, right? These three terms give us that. And then we have minus 1 minus 2, and that is x minus 1 whole square minus 3. So whenever you are given quadratic equation in standard form, you should complete squares and find the vertex. That's a good idea. So we know the y value is minus 3 here, right? So the point here is 1 minus 3, correct? So from here, we can write both domain and range of the function. Uh, domain is x belongs to real numbers and range will be y belongs to real numbers where y is greater than or equal to minus 3, correct? That's the minimum, okay. The absolute minimum for the given parabola in quadratic form. Okay, so we answered part A, let's answer part B now. In this particular case, denominator will never be zero, so domain is again all real numbers. How do we find the range for this function? I prefer to graph this function, so let me just sketch a graph. So we'll first sketch graph of 1 plus x squared, which could be kind of like this, right? A parabola moved one unit up, right? I think this is 1. 1 over that means, means let's use different ink. The graph will be kind of like this. Well, that's an asymptote, right? It's approaching 0, but not quite there. Perfect. Now looking from the graph, this is this is graph of, uh, let me write, 1 plus x square, okay. And uh, this one is graph of 1 over 1 plus x square. Now from the graph, can you give domain and range of this function? Think about it, right? This is x value, that is the y value. So clearly, domain for the function is x belongs to real numbers, right? And the range is y belongs to real numbers. However, it has a restriction. y is greater than 0. It is never equal to 0, but less than or equal to 1. This maximum value is 1 over 1, which is 1, right? So that becomes the domain and range of the rational function y equals to 1 over 1 plus x squared. I'm Anil Kupal and I hope you appreciate the method we followed here. 
you can always share and subscribe my videos thank you and all the best